hometown. Yeah. Um, were you nervous coming into this game? I was not nervous. I was happy, man, to play in front of my family for the last college game of my career. I just wanted to go out with a bang, man, a double-double. <laughs> double-double, and you had it with like 12 minutes to go. And yeah. I guess, were they fouling out at three or something there in the second half? Or? I think so, man. I just kept coming in and out, but I had it in my mind, just keep playing hard, just keep on playing hard. Um, when you're out there, how often yeah. do you hear, first of all, they mispronouncing your name on the PA? Yeah, I heard I was like, man. But I was just keep going. You're the, you're the guy that came home and they got your name wrong. I so. know. And, and it's crazy because before the game, they asked me, they was like, uh, how do you say your name? I said, Udeze. They were like, and he still messed it up. Let's well, go. I'm sitting there thinking like, all right, wait, have we been saying it wrong all year in New Mexico? <laughs> we were getting it right, right? Yeah, we were. We were. All right. um, look, man, you, you just kept like one heck of a senior season. Yes, We've talked a little bit about that, but I want to revisit. Come home, double-double in front of some friends and family. Been signing a bunch of autographs over there. Yep. Um, how special was this senior year for you? In it was just special, man. I'm so thankful to Coach P, Coach Sue, Coach Dave, Coach Tarvis, Coach Coach EB, I'm, the whole staff, P, B Waters, my teammates. I'm just so thankful for all of them, the managers, from head to toe. It was just a blessing going to well, to New Mexico and just and just playing hard for them and just bringing that culture back. It was it's a blessing, man. I couldn't you, ask for anything else. You obviously have a, a pro career ahead of you now. Um, yes, what What is next? I know Portsmouth is next, yes, right? Yes, I have Portsmouth next, and and after Portsmouth, I'll uh, I'll sign with an agent. But I've been talking to a whole bunch of agents. But it's like after Portsmouth, I'll be ready to sign with an agent. You uh, you're from Houston. Houston Where Texas. did you play here? I went to Travis High School for four years, and I went to Montverde Academy. Okay. When you played here, yes. all city, all district, all what? I wasn't that good my freshman and sophomore year. I really wasn't that good freshman, sophomore, junior year. I feel like my senior year was when I just got in the gym uh, very hard and I just started working on my craft a lot. All right, man. Um, Final Four, it didn't work out for you guys to get to the tournament. Yeah. I know this isn't exactly the same thing. It seems like a pretty special way to kind of to cap the college part of your career. How, how special was today? And who all is here with you? It was special. My whole uh, my, uh, my parents was here. My friends are right here. P is here. Uh, I think Daniel was somewhere around here. I had a whole bunch of friends out. It was just a blessing to be to have my last game in Houston, my college yeah. career, man. So I knew I had to go play hard for my family and just get a win. So that's what happened. You guys get to keep the jerseys? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm keeping it for sure. <laughs> what for do sure. you think, 25? Like I wanted 24, but they gave me 25. But I ain't going to complain. I'm just going to show them what it is. That's all it is. I'm just going to go play hard. Appreciate you. Last thing, sign off. Some Lobo fans are going to see this. What do you got to say to Lobo fans? I love y'all, man. I love y'all to death, man. You guys, you guys travel everywhere with us. Win or lose, you guys always had our back, man, and I'm forever grateful. I feel like the rest of my teammates are forever grateful. Even the, even the players that transferred, we're all, we're all forever grateful.